You might have a parasitic infection if these symptoms sound familiar to you. 90% of Americans have parasites. Hi there, if you're new here, I'm Drew Canoli and I'm on a mission to transform a million lives. Here are seven symptoms that you may have a parasite infection. Number one, unexplained digestive issues. Two, you have inexplicable fatigue and exhaustion even if you're getting enough sleep. It's like sleep doesn't even help. Three, neurological or psychological symptoms like strange mood swings, personality shifts, memory issues, even grinding your teeth when you sleep can be a symptom of parasites. Four, skin issues like mysterious rashes or itchiness. Five, unexplained weight loss or weight gain with different nutritional issues that you weren't aware of before. Six, unexplained muscular or joint pain. Seven, unexplained headaches. And if this sounds like you, don't worry, there is hope. As you start out on your journey to removing parasites, what I like to do is I just simply add papaya seeds, pumpkin seeds, fennel seeds, flax seeds, watermelon seeds. You're not gonna grow watermelon in your stomach. And then bonus, garlic and pineapple are also great for this. All of these things can stop parasites in their tracks. I also highly recommend getting tested, getting a stool test by an experienced functional medicine doctor or a healthcare practitioner, Chinese medicine doctor, whoever it is for you for a full parasite cleanse. So don't do anything that guy said. Uh, what he's saying is, is dangerous nonsense. So first of all, that list of symptoms that he gave, you know, from neurological symptoms to digestive symptoms, if you're having any of those things, you should see your doctor and go see a real doctor. Uh, you don't have to see somebody who specializes in weird things or parasites or whatever. Just see your doctor, right? If you're having unexplained headaches, yeah, that's a serious symptom. You should be, you should be evaluated for that. If you're having un, undiagnosed, serious, continuous gastrointestinal symptoms, you should see a doctor for that. What you should not do is assume that some guy on the internet has diagnosed you with these unspecified parasites. I wonder what parasites he's talking about. He doesn't say. They never do. When they talk about parasites or toxins, they never specify which ones they're talking about because they're not talking about anything specifically. They don't know what they're talking about. Right? If you have a specific parasitic infection that would need to be diagnosed, it would need to be treated specifically with medication. You know, you're not going to treat it with a cleanse or with seeds or whatever that will not treat an actual parasitic infection. And if you have any of the symptoms that he listed that probably isn't a parasitic infection, that wouldn't even make my list of things that are likely to be a cause of, of like if you have unexplained headaches, if you live in a Western developed nation, a parasite is a very unlikely cause of having an unexplained headache. Uh, if you been, live in other parts of the world, it's more likely. But, you know, if you like live in the United States where I live, I've never seen it. I've never seen a single case as to 30 years of being a neurologist, despite having imaged thousands of people, which would 100 percent, you know, diagnose if there was an actual parasite living in your brain, for example. So it's not parasites. Uh, what this guy is doing is just, you know, he's just being the guru thing. He's using this simplistic algorithm. You have any of these common symptoms that a lot of people have or symptoms that actually, you know, require medical attention, but basically a broad list of symptoms, which essentially could be anyone could see themselves in one or more of those symptoms. Then you have this unspecified syndrome, parasites, again, without naming what they are. And then, you know, uh, prescribes some dietary change or something. Uh, not that, you know, eating seeds is a bad thing, but it's not going to cure your parasites and it's not the way, how you should be treating or addressing those specific symptoms. So when you, when you hear gurus on the internet like that, just ignore them. If you're having new, unexplained, or serious symptoms, see an actual doctor.